Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to Epcot. We're going to check out the International Festival of the Holidays today. And Grace is going to join me a little bit later on, but we're going to start um, in World Showcase. And um, they have a lot of different like food booths, kind of like Food and Wine Festival. So we're going to go check out all of those back at World Showcase. So one thing I did not mention you guys is this is actually the very first day of the Epcot International Festival of the Holidays. So we're going to go um, check out, we're going to start with um, Mexico and make our way around the World Showcase. I kind of like to go that way. I'm not sure why I go to the left and not um, to the right around, but um, I like to start with Mexico. So we're going to start over there with Mexico and make our way all the way around the World Showcase. So I think Grace is going to meet us here in just a second, but I figure a first place to start is here at the new um, Margarita stand, Chosa de Margarita. So we're going to check out some of the food and drinks that they have here at Chosa. I'm super excited to try this out. Seven? Seven? Okay, you guys. So I got the um, Tacos Al Pastor, which look incredible. So, so good. And I also got the um, Lime Cucumber um, uh, margarita, which I'm super excited. I have not tried either one yet, but guess who showed up? Hi! Grace is here! <laughs> so um, we're going to dig into these and I'll let you know what we think of these. They look beautiful. Like, good on you, Epcot. They look gorgeous. And he prepared this drink right in front of me, which I think is pretty cool. Kind of like, like a regular bar, but um, unlike the um, festival booths that we'll um, check out here in a little bit, um, he uh, prepared it right in front of me, which is really awesome. So, yeah. I'm super excited to try. Grace, you can't have any of the booze. Sorry. <laughs> so I have not mentioned this yet, you guys. It's super windy today, so sorry about the wind, but here we go. Well, the juice got everywhere, all over my hand and all over my shirt, but that's okay. It tastes unbelievably good. Woo! And it's spicy. <laughs> Like, extremely spicy, but really good. I recommend. All right, let's try the drink. Um, yeah, it's really refreshing. It's really cucumbery, <laughs> and this is like a like a spicy sugar, or like a I don't know spice on top. It's really really tasty, but really refreshing. Like I can see this being excellent when it's super super hot out. Mmm. Yeah, really good. Really good. Um, we're not actually going to get any yummy food here at the Mexico booth, but at um, the Las Posadas Holiday Kitchen, this is what they have as far as food and drinks go. So, if you're going to be coming to the International Festival of the Holidays, be sure to check out the Las Posadas Holiday Kitchen here in um, Epcot. But we are going to enjoy our drink. And I keep saying we because Grace, you've already seen, but Ryan's back. Hi, Ryan. So they've got all sorts of Coco merch now. Now that the movie's out. Look how great. I don't know if you can see that, but this is like a little Miguel plush. That's awesome. So that's 25 bucks, but there's a lot of Coco merchandise here. I love. They're working on these beautiful paper mache. How amazingly gorgeous are those? These are beautiful. Those are fantastic. So you can kind of see the work in progress here. This is the one that hasn't been closed yet. So then they're working on clothing this one. And then um, she's working on finishing, putting the finishing touches on those. Those are amazingly beautiful. Because of the way they moved during the Christmas holiday. Well, today is our gift to you. We wish to present traditional music and dances from that beautiful great state of Jalisco. Jalisco is an important state to us because it is the birthplace so of Mariachi. So he is telling um, the history of Mariachi, but also about uh, Las Posadas. But um, I just wanted to grab a quick clip of that as we head on around here to Norway. 
to check out what they have in Norway for um, the festival of the holidays. All right, you guys, so we are successfully into Norway. Um, it is quite a busy day here. It's the first day of the International Festival of the Holidays, but it's also Dapper Day number two. So um, there's a lot of guests here for that as well. So, so here is the um, Epcot, the Kidcot, excuse me, stations that they have at all the um, countries. So here with your kids, and you want to do, um, and you want to do a trip around the world showcase. That might be a good thing for, for you and your family to check out. So, so there is a um, holiday kitchen here for um, China. It's called Shanghai Holiday Kitchen, and this is what they got to eat. Looks really good. I'm still pretty full from those um, tacos, so um, I think I'm going to eat a little bit more around around the way a little ways. But. Okay, so we're going to head on around here through the African outpost. I guess that's what that's called, right? Or does it just call it outpost? Probably just outpost. But um, yeah, we're going to head through here and make our way on around to um, Germany's next, right? Yep. Yeah, so we'll make our way around to um, Germany and see what they have over there. All right, you guys, so we have made our way over to the uh, Germany Pavilion here at the Bavaria Holiday Kitchen. We're going to grab some, I don't know, food, drinks. I don't know what they have here, so we'll have to see when we get up there and um, grab something um, to munch on. And then we're going to head on around to try and catch La Befana in Italy and then um, the Voices of Liberty coming up here soon. So. All right, you guys, I promise I don't drink a lot. I promise. <laughs> but I did get um, the cider flight here. Um, so this is what we've got. We've got a... Um, pure hard apple cider and then a black currant apple cider and a pink grapefruit so I'm really excited to try all those I'll let you know what I think <laughs> he, he overfilled this one he said oh, I'm so sorry I was like buddy you can overfill all you want to don't even worry about it so I'll tell you what I think here in a second um, so this is the hard apple cider it's a postman postman I don't really know sorry about the wind oh my gosh so that one's really good I'll tell you which one's my favorite let's see so this one, next one is the black currant, which had water to like, you know, wash out my, wash out my palate because I'm so fancy. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, that one tastes straight up like apple juice. Okay. Like just straight apple juice. I mean, it's good, but it, it tastes like apple juice for sure. And then this last one is the pink grapefruit. Thank you. <laughs> Hefeweizen. Hefeweizen. I don't know. I don't speak German. Um, definitely grapefruit. Definitely a little bit more ale. A, a little less ale and a little more beer-like. Um, but really good. I think my favorite is the first one. I'm a, uh, a purist, so the pure um, hard apple cider is probably my favorite. Cheers. So I'm really pleased with those uh, with that flight. I did not care for the uh, grapefruit one. Uh, we <laughs> we were not able to finish the grapefruit one. I don't know. Maybe it's just a little too beery. Beery is that a word? Uh, a little too beer-like for me, but um, it was good. Just not my thing exactly. So we're gonna go catch um, La Befana over here in the Italy Pavilion. So we are on our way over to um, the Italy Pavilion, but they have a holiday kitchen here. I'm glad they put that on there because now I know what to call them, but this is the Tuscany Holiday Kitchen. Here's what they have to eat. Nice. And you guys, with as much as I've drank already this morning, I should probably eat a little bit there, but I'm not going to. <laughs> We're going to go catch uh, La Befana, and it's really cool to walk around the World Showcase and see the dappers out here in World Showcase. It's really fun. So, uh, yeah, let's go see if we can catch La Befana. This is my story. Once upon a time, more than 2,000 years ago, I am living in a lonely little cottage at the edge of a great highway. And many caravans of camels, they pass me by all the time. And I don't see a whole lot of camels these days. Huh? But one day, I am sweeping in front of my little cottage and a group of strange men comes up to me. To me, La Bufana. And they are so exotic, you know. Oh, they're from a very far away place. And they look very rich. They're all dressed up like kings and everything. 
and they speak to little old me. Well, you can imagine how they are talking, huh? They have uh, a funny words. Their words love a father does not know. But the men are so excited. Oh, they point up this way. They point that way. And the one word I remember is Bethlehem. You know that word? Yes. It's good to know the Bethlehem after all the stories. But you know, way back then, I do not know what the Bethlehem is. But the men, oh, they are talking to me with their hands. Huh? <laughs> now this Labafana can understand. <laughs> and they say to me that the big star up in the sky, it is there to tell them that a great king has been born in the Bethlehem and they are following his star. Oh, now I understand. See, Labafana has seen the star. It is why the sky is so bright these last few nights. <laughs> And I was beginning to be a little bit irritated with it because, you know, it was keeping me awake at night. But I am so excited, yes, so caught up in their story to find this young king that the strangers, they ask me to go with them. Oh, and for a moment I am so filled with longing to follow this star. And then I think to myself, I said, what? Oh, no. No, the father, you're pazzo. You're crazy. Camels, stars, strange men in the middle of the night. That's really not a good idea. So, I say to these men, no. No, I am sorry, but uh, La Bafana, she cannot come with you. So the strangers, they go to the Bethlehem without me. But I stand outside in the night for a while and I look up at the stars and I wonder. And do you know, just a few days later, a young shepherd comes running into my village and he says to me, Hey, Lambafana, how come you're not going to the Bethlehem? Everybody is talking about the baby king that was born. Born in a poor little stable, but the father. Everybody is saying he is the son of God. And just then, the sky opened up with such beautiful light. Oh, La Bafana cannot even look. It is as if the star of the little king bursts open into glory. And then the sound. Oh, the sound of angels singing. <laughs> So many angels, and they were singing like nothing I had ever heard before. And I know I must go to the Bethlehem. So I run into my little cottage to find a gift to bring to this special bambino. I had seen all the fancy gifts from the kings. I do not want to be empty handed. So I look, oh, and I search, but all that I can find is just a little old doll. I made her from scrap of wool. But she's better than nothing, huh? Oh, I am so excited. I will go to the Bethlehem. I will see this young king. And I run outside to follow the star. And it is gone. Oh, the beautiful star. She is gone. Now Bafana had waited too long. And now I cannot find the Christ child. So for 2,000 years, I am searching for the Yesu Bambino, for the Christ child. And on the eve of the Epiphany, that is the day the wise men, they come into the Bethlehem, I climb down into the chimneys and I look into the faces of the children and I think to myself what if it is you? What if you are the Christ child? 
And you know when they are sleeping, you think it could be so, huh? <laughs> and then, just in case, I have looked into the face of the Yesu Bambino himself. I leave a little gift. 